Okay, the ingredients you will need are four cups diced potatoes, two cups chopped celery, two cups chopped onions, and four cans of clams. And I usually use two minced and two chopped just to get a variety of clams. You're going to need two pots to make this soup. And in the first pot, you're going to add your, all your veggies in. And you're going to open up your cans of clams and pour in their juice. And you might think at first that that's not enough juice um, from the four cans, but I promise you it will be. Uh, once your vegetables start cooking, they'll let off their juices and you'll have plenty. So um, you can use frozen potatoes. And it works really good in this chowder, but not at this point. And I'll show you later when you can add the frozen potatoes in. And you're going to let these simmer uh, until the potatoes are tender. Now let's grab our second pot to make the chowder. You will need a half cup of butter. And I usually chop it up to put it in the pot just so it'll melt faster. You will need a quart of half and half. And then four cups of milk. You can use whole milk. But we have skim in our house, so skim works fine. It, the soup still thickens up really well. So don't worry about that. And then you'll need a cup of cornstarch. I know I add it in when all my milk is still very cold. That way I don't get lumps from the cornstarch. Okay, you will need three teaspoons of salt and black pepper. I just dust the top of it. I don't measure it at all. And then you'll need one teaspoon of sugar. And then you're going to whisk that up again. And you're going to keep whisking until it thickens up. And you're not going to want to ignore the stove too much because you will scorch the bottom of your pan. I used to do that a lot when I first started cooking this when I was in college. You don't have to consistently stir, but stir it quite often and it'll thicken up on you. Once your veggies are done, you're going to add them to your cream mixture. And this is when you can add your frozen potatoes in. It'll just take a little bit longer to heat through. And then you're going to add your clams. So it doesn't take long for the clams to cook. You just are heating them through basically. If you do use frozen potatoes, um, you might want to use your whole milk instead of the skim milk to help thicken it. But it works really good. I've done it. And then I just taste test it with a plastic fork because for some reason a metal fork just makes the chowder seem saltier to me. I don't know. I'm weird. So yeah, and it's done. You're basically just warming your clams and your chowder is done. It's super fast, you guys, really quick. And then we'll just plate up and chow down. And I promise you, you will absolutely love this chowder. It's addicting. It makes you really full. <laughs> um, one, This batch is just a one batch and it feeds our family. But if we are going to have company, we usually double it and it makes a lot of soup. But serve it up with your favorite rolls and you will be a happy camper. Seriously. It was like one of the first meals I ever learned to cook for my mom. And so in college, I used to make chicken fingers, ramen, and clam chatter. <laughs> Those are real tears. That's hilarious. I love clam chowder. Dang, Gina!